tutor um today we are going to be having our daily shots from physics y past question all right uh, and the question here says a 90 watt immersion eater is used to supply energy for five minutes a 90 watt immersion eater is used to supply energy for five minutes the first thing to note there is our 90 watts okay 90 watts that is power what is this um is the unit for power so we have our power to be 90 watts and the, this eater 90 watts immersion eater is used to supply energy for five minutes that's the time the energy supplied is used to completely melt 160 grams of a solid at its melting point let's assume water but not necessarily now calculate the specific latent heat of the solid now remember i said let's assume water i'm talking about ice water not water on its own just ice the solid state of water but not necessarily the solid we're just using that as an assumption so technically now the this energy the energy supplied by this heater for five minutes is used to melt an ice of 160 grams in five minutes okay now we are asked to calculate the specific latent heat all right and remember the formula for specific latent heat that is q q equals ml where whereas m is mass and l is latent heat okay and um remember we also have another formula for quantity of heat another formula for quantity is equals to ivt and that's the same thing as pt where our p equals power and this is time p equals iv as well so now remember they gave us our power to be 90 watts and they gave us time to be five minutes they gave us the mass of the solid we are melting to be 160 grams and now we are asked to calculate is the specific latent heat so technically it is q equals ml and q equals ivt which is equals to pt we can also say that ml equals um pt do you understand q and q are the same so we can equate the two of them since they are the same thing now if you have to equate them then that means we can have our ml was our ml 160 times l our l is still unknown our p is 90 watts and our t is five minutes we want to convert this five minutes to seconds how do we do that okay i'm i'm waiting for you how do we convert five minutes to seconds five times what 60 seconds correct now 160 l and we multiply the two of them together is going to be giving us what 90 times 5 times 60. if you utilize your calculator you're going to be having our answer from the calculator is 27,000. Okay, 27,000. Now, let's finish this. Now, if you are to, okay, let's cancel zero out of this. Zero out of this. That means we're going to be having 16L equals 2700. So this one zero has left either side. So our L is equal to 2700 over 16. And if you punch in your calculator, your calculator is going to be giving you what? um 169 approximately so what is going to be our unit so remember we are giving grams here and the unit for energy according to the what we have is joules so everything is going to be 169 joule per grams now it could have been kilogram that would have been if our mass was 160 kilogram but we're not giving 160 kilogram we're giving grams so unit is 169 joule per gram in the calculator you're going to be having 168.75 but i approximated it into 169 so now this is how to solve questions that pertain to specific latent heat and power okay you have to just equate the two formulas and you're going to get your answer then if it had been to calculate specific heat capacity the formula for specific heat capacity is q equals mc theta remember q equals mc theta all we have to change is just the ml so q equals mc theta so let's assume the question was saying we should calculate the specific heat capacity of a particular liquid we are going to be using mc theta equals ivt or pt whichever formula suits us best and that's how to calculate any question relating to specific heat in general remember the three important formulas q equals ml for latent heat q equals ivt when we're talking about the power Q equals M60. I want to talk about the specific heat capacity. And the unit for specific latent heat is Joule per grams. So that's all about this daily shot for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like. God bless you.